Hello, my name is Preston Montague, and today we are in Raleigh, North Carolina, installing a grassland in this front yard. Once we located all the utilities, our first step was to prep the site. The soil on site was in poor shape. It was basically compacted subsoil full of construction debris. We designed a soil mix that drains quickly and has low fertility so that plants wouldn't get too big too quickly and flop. The existing soil is so compacted, we had to till our designed soil mix into the top few inches rather than just lay it on top, which we would have preferred. Tilling the existing soil will bring many more weed seeds into the grassland, and that will just have to be something we manage as the grassland matures. To stay in budget and compete against weeds, we've designed our grassland to grow primarily from seed. We'll also add plugs of charismatic flowering plants to provide additional resources to pollinators and birds and to add a diversity of color across the seasons. We're sowing seed in spring when the temperatures are in the low 40s at night with highs in the 60s during the day. Rain is coming, so we're using this window of opportunity to get the structure of the grassland established quickly using seed. The plant species in our seed mix are selected to stay relatively short, ideally around a meter at the highest. And the largest volume of species in the mix are grasses, selected to germinate and grow quickly to provide persistent structure, to provide erosion control, and to protect seed of other plant species that may germinate more slowly throughout the year. Zooming into some of the species in our seed mix, we have winter bent grass, which germinates quickly and helps with erosion control. We have love grass, which also helps with erosion control and weed suppression. Both grasses remain low and allow flowering plants to emerge through them. We have soft rush, which performs well in both sun and shade, especially in moist areas of the grassland and has persistent structure throughout the year. Partridge pea comes up readily from seed and has cheery yellow flowers that pollinators can't ignore. There's red columbine, which brings a lot of spring color in both sun and part shade and reseeds readily in well-drained soils. Golden Alexander also brings a lot of color in spring and colonizes areas of the grassland that remain moist. And there's evening primrose, which lifts its perfectly yellow blooms above the grasses during a transition period between spring and summer when often few other plants are blooming. Normally we would add erosion control matting to help prevent soil and seed from escaping the project area during a rain event, but given the very shallow slopes, the speed of germination at this time of year, and the very light rain in the forecast, we decided only to add mulch along the driveway and at the street to capture any seed or soil that may migrate that direction in the rain. Now that we've finished adding the structure of our grassland with seed, we're going to be moving on to plugs of charismatic flowering plants that will provide seasonal character. 